Hey guys, Jessica Shire here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a collaboration with Annalisa from Faith Dream Create and I'll have her channel listed below. We did the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. We, were, we both contributed to that video hop so she contacted me and asked if I want to do a collaboration with her and I was like, of course. All right, we're going to waste no time here. I have out my stamp platform. I need to make sure that I have it on the clear side since this is a clear stamp set instead of the rubber side or else it won't stamp correctly. I've done that fail so many times. So we decided to do a video together and we're both going to be using the same stamp set. And the one we're using is the T-Rex from Rabbit Hole Designs. This is a stamp set that I've had for quite a while. I was I was really excited to get it and then it just kind of got shoved back <laughs> into the depths of the craft room and I hadn't had a chance to pull it out yet and to play with it. And I'm going to be using some Nina 80 pound cardstock because I'll be doing some Copic coloring with this cute dinosaur. And of course Drina K Amalgam Ink. These two are my favorite combination for Copic coloring. I'm very thankful that I have met a new friend and I love her channel so make sure you check her out and check out her video. We both have very different styles. That's what's kind of fun about card making to me is that we all have different styles and different way of doing things. So we're going to start coloring. I will speed this up a little bit because I took a lot of time just playing with Copic markers. I love to just sit down and blend and see what happens. So I have the YG03 and this is actually going to be more of my medium color. So I'm going to color probably like 75% of him with this green color. And then I'm going to blend that out with a YG01. It's just a little bit lighter, has a bit more yellow to it. And then I'm going to make sure that my highlights are the Y13, very bright yellow. It's a good medium yellow. I'm also going to go through and deepen up everything with the G46 and then blend that out with a YG03. So I'm really going to deepen those colors and then I'm just going to keep switching back and forth between all those markers to kind of get a good blend. I also pulled out a BG93. This is a very gray toned blue green color and I also use that in all of the shadowy areas to kind of help blend out that that G46 marker a little bit more. And again, just going back through with the YG03 and the YG01, I have an obsession with the YG03. I just had to get a refill for it, but I love that chartreuse green color. It's so bright and vibrant. I know that making the dinosaur green, it really isn't anything spectacular. It's not something like super original, but I had fun blending out all those greens. So I think I have a good combination that I can kind of go back to. So for his hair, I thought it looked like flames. So I'm going to kind of go with that idea. I used a YR27, which is a nice burnt brown, burnt orange color, not brown. And I'll blend that out with a Y38 and then a little bit of a Y13 too. I'm going to continue to mess with my shadow areas. I do have a habit of going over everything with lighter colors and then I lose a lot of that depth. So that's why I keep going back to those darker colors and trying to bring back in that shadow area. I'm going to make his slippers purple. I like how he has that one little toenail sticking out of that slipper. I'm going to make the coffee cup blue. And then I'm going to take the G99. This is a very green, olive green, gray saturated marker. And I'm just going to add the ittiest, bittiest, tiniest little dots all up on his back and down his nose and then along his tail too. And this will just give a really cool little contrast just to add a little bit more character to him. I'm also going to use a white gel pen to add some white highlights all around him too. And for his eyelid, I just used some warm gray markers and then went over the very top part 
would that be G99? So you still get a hint of green, but it's pretty much a gray color. So I've also been playing around with colored pencils again, along with Copic markers, just using them as a, a companion to the Copic markers, basically. So I decided to take a green pencil. This is a dark green. I don't know the number or the name of this one off the top of my head. I will have that listed below in all the blog posts too. It just went around all the little shadow areas. It just added a cool little texture so everything wasn't so flat. It made it a little bit more fuzzy. It kind of blended everything together a bit more. And then here is where I go in with the white gel pen. This is a Jelly Roll 08. It's not the broadest point that they have. I think the broadest one they have is a 10. But this does give me some really little dots that I can put all over his nose, his back. I even made some stripes on his little stomach area. I'm going to call him done. I'm also going to fussy cut him and um, ink the edges with a black memento pen. So I wanted to use some embossing powder and I have this hexagon stencil from Hero Arts that I bought with their May kit. I only used it once. I didn't even show the card that I used with that Hero Arts May kit. And I've been practicing my coloring with the, some of those stamp images, but I haven't shown that card. It was a little weird, so I didn't know if I really cared for it. But I'm going to use some Versamark ink over the top of that stencil. And this Versamark pad is actually just the one that I like to use for this kind of technique because I don't care if it gets dirty or it gets more dirty because it's pretty it's pretty dirty already. And when I use the Hero Art embossing powder, I don't know the name of this one either, but it, it was also from that May kit. And it's a really pretty, but I had purple glitter everywhere. It was pretty messy and I don't really like that much glitter. But once I got it all off, once I got all the loose pieces off of the embossing area, once it was melted, it didn't move anymore. So now I'm going to make the quickest watercolor background I've ever done. This was a lot of fun. I'm going to tape this down with some masking tape. It's a lighter purple than the purple tape from Thermoweb. This also came in the Hero Arts May Kit. And I'm going to use some Tombow dual brush markers in the blue, orange, and green. I'll have the exact colors listed below. And I'm going to spritz it with some water out of my Distress Bearer. And I'm using some Canson watercolor paper. It's pretty lightweight paper. But I'm going to let those colors mix around and I'm going to dry them immediately with my heat gun. And the hardest part was actually just drying the water down because I put a lot of water on there so that the colors would flow together. But I really like the result of this. It almost looks like alcohol inks, but this was super fast and really easy to do. So for the sentiment of this card, but I'm going to bring in another stamp set from Casual Fridays. They have a really good, lots of funny coffee, punny sentiments in the hot coffee stamp set. And the one I'm using says, life is a grind, press on coffee, which I thought was perfect for my little grumpy dinosaur. So to stamp the sentiment though, I'm going to use some Tombow markers, but only the blue and the green for this one. I'm going to color over that stamp in very selective areas. I'm trying to get a nice blue to green gradient. So I do have to stamp this several times, which is great to have the stamp platform or any stamp positioning tool that you like to use. And you can just color over certain areas of that phrase, stamp it down, go in with the green color, stamp that down, and then keep going back and forth until you get a nice, good, bold blend really easy. That's a scrap piece of paper of smoke, Simon Says Stamp Smoke cardstock. I'm going to speed this up a lot because this was already a pretty long video. I don't like to go over 10 minutes really. So let me know if you like longer videos or not, but I usually try to keep them around 10 minutes. It seems to be a good amount of time for a card making video. I went ahead and I die cut that embossing background, a rounded rectangle die and then an oval die to get that center shape. I layered that on top of the Tombow watercolored background that I did. I'm going to layer all those pieces together with some dry adhesive 
And then for the dinosaur, I'm actually going to use Multimedia Mac and I'm going to place him right over the top, more towards that lower right hand side. I also took the caffeinated crab. So the dino is actually caffeinated dino. I keep forgetting that. I just call him T-Rex all the time. But I took the caffeinated crab set. This is a small set. And I took the hashtag crabby and then I... I heat embossed with alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe onto his coffee cup. So it just says crabby. It was a little bit big, so it does kind of overlap a little bit. So since I've been obsessed with colorful craft foam and using that for layering purposes, I'm going to pick out a color for my stash. I do eventually go with the lighter green. I don't even know why I tried any other ones. <laughs> it's that chartreuse green again. I use the same rounded rectangle die from Art Impressions to die cut that. And then I can layer that whole piece on the top of that green craft foam. And then layer those two pieces once they've dried a little bit onto a blank white Nina 110 pound card base. I just love the really bold colors of this one, especially against that white background. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you check out Annalisa's video on her channel, Faith Dream Create. I'll have everything listed below, including the products that I used for today. So those are some affiliate links. If you like to go ahead and give those a click. And that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Meh, meh.